Welcome back you guys to NC Engravers. I want to take a moment here and explain to you the different services that we do offer for the Taurus G2C, primarily the optic cut. So uh, we've had a lot of requests over the last couple of weeks. Are you guys doing optic cuts? Can it be coupled with some of the other services that you already offer? How do we go about getting those services in, a, in an actual quote and how do we get that work turned out? So. Lately, we've had the opportunity to add that to the web page. Um, you are able to go right onto the web page. You can check out right from there. I'm going to kind of educate you guys a little bit more on what you kind of need to purchase while you're on the web page because we can take this a couple of different ways. So, um, wanted, we kind of wanted to use this one as an example. This is the Taurus G2C, same as what we have here over on the left hand side. Now, I just kind of wanted to give you the breakdown of what it kind of starts with to where we end up with because we end up removing some of the hardware off of the slide itself. We also have Happen to have certain models that fit the gun as far as the optics that can actually go on and then of course uh, what do we do as far as upgrading the iron sights how do we go about getting those in, in what fits so first and foremost let's start with um, let's start kind of with the factory one let's talk about that so right out of the get-go you're gonna find out that we have the loaded indicator bar on the top here obviously we have the rear sight uh, the iron that's in the back side of the gun we've got a roll pin we've got a couple of different pieces of hardware that are up in here so when you happen to add an optic to this slide you're gonna end up losing your rear dovetail okay so you've got a couple options we could actually do the the optic cut and remove this all together some of the optics that are on the market and are offered like the shield rmsc the rmsw the leopold delta they do have rear built-in irons in them so you may decide that you just don't want to have uh, a rear iron uh, dovetail put back on the weapon because it's built into the optic so we're going to lose that by adding an optic now we're going to end up losing our loaded chamber uh, indicator bar that's going to go and so is the hardware inside of there uh, so that those are a couple things just to take into consideration when you do go down this path as far as having the service done we are going to end up losing some of that hardware so let's go ahead and set this down let's go ahead and take a look and see exactly what it looks like once it has actually been installed so this happens to be a pretty rough optic so i do apologize about that this is our cracked one this is one that we happen to have in-house we use it just for te test fitting kind of wanted to show you exactly what you would kind of get so during checkout, when you're on the webpage and you, you click on the drop down, you're going to end up seeing the offered optics. Now, I know you guys have a whole lot of different requests. We want to see Trigicon, we want to see Hollow Center, we want to see a lot of these other ones. Maybe there's some new optics that haven't even been released out onto the market yet, like the, the, uh, the Romeo Zero by SIG. So, there happen to be a lot of different optics. This service is going to grow. So throughout time, as we start doing some of the other optics, as we start figuring out if they will work, if they won't work, you will start to see those other optics become available during the checkout. So always check back or you can feel free to ask us uh, kind of where we are in that process. So this has been cut in the, to the rear of the slide. We did remove the factory dovetail. We end up cutting a new Glock style dovetail through where our roll pin is. So if you take a look here, we will include some pictures. We kind of trying to make that as, as seamless and as clean as we possibly could. We end up having the roll pin here. So we end up cutting through the roll pin. Now, one of the other things to take into consideration is that we do have a channel in the inside of here where we had our loaded chamber indicator. Now, uh, under normal circumstances, if we just went with an optic cut, but we didn't go with the front of optic dovetail, we would leave a little bit of a cut underneath the optic. It will allow for dirt and stuff to get down under the optic. Um, so obviously, if we do something like a, like a rear front dovetail or a front of optic dovetail I should say um, we're gonna eliminate that so by us cutting that dovetail in the slide it actually seals off that and then we're not gonna get any dirt and grime from where the barrel is this little chamber and up underneath here so the dovetail actually seals that off so that's something to take into consideration now the other issue that we're gonna have is since we've upgraded this to a rear Glock iron we're gonna have an issue finding a factory uh, Taurus iron sight that's tall enough to work with this and of course with these to be able to work with the optic itself to be tall enough to co-witness. So one of the things that you're going to find out is if you end up going through and buying the premium service which we do offer which is kind of like the optic dovetail front uh, sight, what we do is we actually cut that hole open to allow for the Glock iron to be used. Now there's huge advantages to this because there happen to be a lot of different makes and models and brands of Glock style irons that are out on the market. So of course that's a that's a definitely the best way to go about doing it because once this service has been added the dovetail and the front iron it does open up a huge uh, area for you to start choosing what you want. Do you want night sights? Do you only want the rear night sight? Do you only want the front night sight? Do you want all black? So there's a lot of options there. Now, one of the other things that um, I would recommend is that you, you go through us to have the iron sights installed and purchased. Now, you can do this yourself. There's not a big issue with that. Um, we can cut the, cut the front, cut the rear. You can do the install. Take into consideration, though, that um, there is a modification that needs to be done with the front iron sight in order for the screw to actually pull that iron sight tight on the front. So it's not as easy as just 
putting it in there, using the Glock tool and tightening it down, there's a couple additional steps there. We would recommend that you have us do that for you just to make sure that it is where it needs to be. Now, one of the other things to take into consideration before you make a purchase from the webpage is that the other services that we offer are with the optic cut. So if you decide that you do want to have what would be your Raptor cuts on the top or your top window or something like the laser cut side, those packages can be combined together. We can actually do some cut work in conjunction with the iron sight upgrade and with the optics. So there happen to be a lot of different services there. I know there's a lot in this video. I do apologize. Go back and watch it a couple times. I know there's a ton of stuff in here, guys. So I do apologize about that. We're trying to keep it down to a informational video and not so much a project video, which you guys would usually see onto our, our YouTube account. Um, so we didn't actually show any of the work here, but yeah, definitely go through there. Click on the drop, drop down. It's gonna show you what optics we do support. It is gonna give you the option for a dovetail. Um, these are gonna be paired together. Okay, so if you happen to, to purchase the service with the optic and the dovetail, it's going to cost a little bit more than the standard dovetail because we are going to fit the hole on the front for your Glock. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're not just doing the back and we're kind of screwing you guys in the front. We want to make sure that these two are mated together. You can install them. Um, obviously, once again, there's a little bit of modification that you will have to do here to the front of this. Uh, we, as, as you guys purchase that service, as you guys have those questions, we will take you through that process. Um, if you just don't happen to have the tools, we do recommend that you have us do that because you'll get it back in this fashion, which is pretty much done. So you'll be able to put it right back on your frame. You'll be good to go. And that is what we would recommend. So guys, keep in mind, always feel free to send us an email we can always build a quote specifically for you if you want to just do this and you don't want to do this or you want to do this and you want to do some front cuts and you're not really seeing the package maybe you want to add a gold barrel to it or something like that we can quote you out directly we can send over an invoice directly that you could pay and we can actually go down that path and get your project turned out for you for the exact build that you're looking for without buying a specific package that is offered so we can always mix and match all the services but guys this is kind of it optic dovetail front glock very cool overall. If you happen to have any questions, just let us know.